In the mid-1970s, the Swedish company Interdynamics AB introduced the MKS assault rifle. This is a firearm that uses traditional materials and a non-traditional layout, with a long-barreled version for regular ground forces and a carbine version for tank crews, pilots, and others as a self-defense weapon. However, the MKS assault rifle did not generate interest among users. Not only does this rifle look very crude, but its actual performance is also not very good. The MKS rifle uses a gas-operated automatic principle, with the operating piston located above the barrel, allowing the user to adjust the gas volume to adjust the rate of fire. The rifle uses conventional processes such as stamping, and can be manufactured using ordinary machine tools. Some steel parts have a thermoplastic coating on the surface, and the addition of reinforcing structures can reduce weight and increase strength. The rifle fires 5.56 by 45 mm ammunition, using a 30-round magazine inserted into the grip, which has the appearance of an enlarged magazine housing. There is a large space between the trigger guard and the trigger, making it easier for users to operate the rifle while wearing gloves, which is advantageous for drivers and pilots. At the rear of the rifle, there is a simple folding stock that can be folded and locked to the right. Although this position may be a bit awkward, the shooter can hold the stock as if it were the grip. The long-barreled version of the MKS rifle has a barrel length of 467 mm, and the short-barreled version has a length of 350 mm. Both versions are equipped with cage-type flash suppressors, with the flash suppressor of the long-barreled version also serving as a grenade launcher socket and bayonet mount, which can accommodate a standard bayonet. The mechanical sights are installed above the rifle, and the L-shaped flip-up cover has two aiming distances of 250 meters and 400 meters. Despite the unimpressive appearance of the MKS rifle, the designer used advanced computer technology to model the firearm's components, simulate their movement and ballistics, and optimize the parts using finite element stress analysis. In theory, the MKS is a good assault rifle. Its long or heavy barrel provides not only a longer effective shooting distance, but also stronger and more accurate firepower. The short barrel limits the distance and accuracy, but when the stock is folded, the size is similar to that of a submachine gun, making it space efficient for vehicles such as tanks and armored vehicles. However, there is a gap between theory and practice, as the human-machine interface of this rifle directly overshadows its advantages. Anyone who sees the grip handle for the rifle magazine would not consider it easy to operate, and indeed, the rifle's unreasonable structure makes it difficult to control, nullifying its accuracy advantage. If one were to point out the rifle's advantages, it would be its simple structure that is conducive to mass production, resulting in a low cost. The MKS assault rifle was announced in 1974, but due to lack of interest, only a small number of prototype rifles were produced. At that time, there were plenty of alternatives available on the market, such as the AK series which could meet the needs of various users. The overall poor performance and crude appearance of the MKS assault rifle made it difficult to gain a foothold. The long and short versions of the MKS assault rifle weigh 2.75 kg and 2.36 kg respectively, with lengths of 868 mm and 634 mm. When folded, the lengths are 751 mm and 517 mm respectively. The theoretical rate of fire is between 750 and 1100 rounds per minute, with the long-barreled version having an initial muzzle velocity of 975 meters per second and an effective range of 400 meters.